Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to check the efficiency of your reverse osmosis system by using a TDS meter and explain why pure water is not healthy. So, please stay tuned. What you are seeing right now is an example of sediments or TDS collected at the bottom of my RO first stage and pre-filters. Here comes in the importance of regular filter replacement maintenance, which you can check on my next video. But for now, let's talk about TDS. So what is TDS and why do we need to measure it? TDS stands for total dissolved solids. These are the particles present in water. They can be organic or inorganic such as salt, metals, minerals, and others. In layman's term, these are the things we need to avoid in our drinking water by using filters. Now then, let's proceed with the water test. First, take samples from your raw water or water inlet, and then the product water from your RO system. In this way, we can check the difference of the TDS being filtered by your system and if it is really working well. Make sure to mark the glasses. A suitable drinking water TDS should have at least 250 ppm and below. The lower the better. But in this case, very low or zero TDS is not good. Yes, you heard it right. It is not healthy. And we will get back at it later with the solution how to deal with that problem. What I have here is a TDS meter. This tester determines the solids by measuring conductivity of water. And this is very easy to use. First, press power, then select unit to ppm. ppm stands for parts per million and then soak probes to the sample water. Now let's start with the raw water. As we can see, we got 105 ppm. Not bad for a tap water. Press hold button to lock the reading. Now on the clean water, it has dropped a lot at 2 ppm, which means my arrow system is working as it should. But remember that arrow system filters your water of all compounds and sediments, including all the essential minerals such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, and others that our body needs. That being said, this filtered water contains no minerals. It can potentially leach minerals from the body when it is consumed. This means that the minerals consumed in the vitamins and food you eat may be urinated away. That is the reason why pure water is not good for the body. To solve this, I strongly suggest to add a mineral filter on your RO final stage. Please see my other video how to add an extra mineral filter. Please check on the link on the description below. So that concludes my video and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and see you on the next one.